Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to video four in my series on the Hollybro Kakute F7 Freestyle Quadcopter Build. Oh yeah, we're at video four and we're actually starting to get deep enough into the playlist where for me to repeat uh, what all of the previous videos were is going to take like too long. So I'm just going to flash it up on the screen here. Uh, this is where we started. This is where we're at. We got a long way to go, but man, we're, we're, we're into it. In this video, we are going to bind our receiver, which is going to be an FR Sky RXSR. Uh, say that three times fast, which happens to be the FR Sky D16 protocol. It's got S bus and telemetry and it's tiny. It's awesome. I love it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and, and we're going to bind it with our radio, which I also love, which is amazing. It's the Radio Master TX 16S. And if I sound like I'm in a commercial, I'm not. I don't get paid for any of this stuff. I buy all this stuff with my own money. So uh, if I speak enthusiastically about products, it's because I really, really love them, not because somebody's paying me to do so. Now, having said that, I've got a bunch of links in the description. Uh, those links are affiliate links, and if you choose to buy things through my affiliate links, it doesn't cost you anything, uh, but I'll get a tiny little itty bitty commission for sending you to those retailers, and uh, basically I just use that money and I roll it back into the channel so that I can continue to make videos for you, but that's not why you're here. You're here to learn how to bind the RXSR with the TX16S, and that's what we're going to do now. Let's do it. So what we've got right now when it's finished is a fully functional line of sight quad. So I have decided that my next step is to start getting it set up. All right, so the quad is off to the side and taking center stage at this point is the RadioMaster TX16S multi-protocol radio. Uh, at this point, it is time to bind this radio with the receiver on the quad and start getting everything set up. And if you're not familiar with this radio or you're not familiar with the uh, firmware that it runs on, which is called OpenTX, don't fret. I have a somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 video series that will take you from absolute unbelievable beginner all the way through some pretty darn advanced topics in addition to some fun stuff as well so if you got any questions about the radio check the description below for a link to that playlist for right now I'm just gonna assume if you're watching this that you have a, a general knowledge uh, about this radio all right so let's get started I'm gonna come over here and I'm a long press and then let's go ahead and zoom in all right and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit model select and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually I'm going to long press and I'm going to create a model it's a quadcopter but you can set up a quadcopter using plane so we're going to use plane and we're going to select it and it says does our model have a motor yes it does and channel 3 is actually where we want it so what we're going to do is we're going to page forward and do we have ailerons? We have one aileron, so let's go ahead and fix that. And we do want it on channel one. And do we have flaps? We do not have flaps. Tail config, we've got an elevator and we've got a rudder. This is exactly the way we want it set, so we're going to page forward. So now the, now the last thing that I need to do is where it says no, I need to change something. I'm going to select that and I'm going to scroll over. All is well, create the plane. And boom, model successful, plus return to exit. So I'm going to go ahead and hit return. And here is our model. It's model 31. And from this screen right here, I'm just going to go ahead and return back out. And here we are at model 31. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the model settings by long pressing on this silver button right here. And the first thing it wants us to do is give it a name. And for the purposes of the video, I just named it something really quick. I just named it F7. Um, Model image, I'm going to go ahead and skip. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm coming down to where we're going to bind, and I'm going to bind using the uh, internal RF. And I'm going to go ahead and select it. And I'm going to switch it over to multi and select that. And come over here. And if you see where it says module update recommended, that's just something I'm going to do in another video just to get us, uh, to keep us on topic here. So I'm going to go from Fly Sky. The receiver that I am using is actually a FR Sky. So there's FR Sky right there. And it actually happens to be a D16. So that's good right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to bind and I'm just going to kind of put this aside. 
All right, so it's important for me to stop at this point and say that I have checked my continuity like 10 times, every single connection, making sure that I don't have a short so that when I plug this battery in, I don't fry my board or whatever. All right. First thing I'm going to do is try to get them close to being plugged in, but not plugged in because you got to get these guys lined up, but not powered. All right. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit the bind button, get this guy chirping. Now the bind button on this receiver is tiny. This is going to be a real challenge because you've got to get it plugged in, but then you've also got to hit the bind button, which is right there on the receiver. You'll know it when you push it. You got to get the radio chirping and then you got to get the button pushed in and then you got to get uh, the battery plugged in. And it might actually be easiest to do with your fingers. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, do that. And then do this. And I think we're bound. Go that. Go ahead and disengage that. And you'll be able to know if you're bound by going back to here and not. And there it is. <clears throat> I can tell I'm bound because I'm getting a signal here. I'm good to go. I've got a solid blue light on my receiver. I've got a solid green and a blinky blue over on my flight controller. And then my telltale sign that everything is good is I've got bars, just like on your phone. All right, so that's how I know that we are bound. All right, that wraps up video four in this series. In the next video, we are going to dive into Betaflight and we are gonna start configuring this thing. Uh, we're getting close. Uh, you can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, we're getting there. So uh, do me a favor. If uh, you found value in the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you really found value in the video, do me a favor. Go out there, share a link, tell somebody about it, and get somebody into the hobby. Because if you think flying by yourself is fun, man, oh man, you should try flying with a friend. It is way, way, way more fun uh, flying with a buddy. So anyhow... I'm Steve signing off for this video. Please join me in the next one. See ya.